this is my recipe for homemade muesli. I use jumbo oats, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, various types of sultana or raisin, a sprinkling of sesame seeds, a sprinkling of brown bean seed, and a sprinkling of poppy seeds. Start with a kilogram bag of jumbo oats. And I put 500 grams into each bowl. That's 500 grams into there. It should leave 500 grams in the bag. And now add 200 grams of pumpkin seeds into each bowl. Then 200 grams of sunflower seeds into each bowl. Now I'm going to add 200 grams of sultanas into each bowl. Best to just go through these to look for any odds ends with stalks or stuck together. It's easier to separate them now rather than later. Any vine fruit really will do. foreign matter and 200 grams of a different soap as the other bowl Oops, I ran out there. Just uh, finish off what I had there. Just a little bit short. Now I'm going to add a small amount of sesame seeds. Add a lid full. And 
the same amount of brown linseed. And now a sprinkling of poppy seeds. Now I'm going to mix up the bowls. Breaking up some of the, the raisins of the stuff here. two bowls of nicely mixed muesli. The last thing to do is put it into a container. A little bit left of last time but there's enough room for this. Using my hands to channel it in. Two containers of muesli weighing roughly one and a half kilos each. And when it comes to eating the muesli, I find it best to actually soak it overnight in milk, which makes it much more digestible. This. Uh, if I half fill this bowl, that makes a, a good breakfast. And just leave that to soak overnight in the fridge and it's ready and nicely soft to eat in the morning. For that extra little luxury, I just put on a few frozen raspberries from my garden which I picked earlier in the year and that will make a really nice breakfast. The raspberries go on the night before and stay in the fridge and they'll be nicely defrosted by the morning. I don't put them on in the morning as they'll be still frozen. Here's the end product next morning, ready to eat.